Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is winter fishing for redfish. You know, it's December now, a lot of fishermen are like, ah, eh, I don't want to fish in the winter time, you don't catch any fish, there's just not as much around. That's really not true. You just have to change your patterns that you have based on the fish patterns. Uh, really, to me, you just got to look at it as almost the opposite of summertime. You know, in the summertime, you got to get out as early as you possibly can. I get out on the water before the sun even comes up because the water I'm fishing is five, six feet deep. A lot of times it's too hot uh, where I'm fishing by noon. So your fishing day is done. So if you didn't get on the water until nine or 10, you really don't have a lot of time to fish. Uh, well, I think the reverse is true in the wintertime. In the wintertime, hey, take it easy. Roll out of bed whenever you want, seven or eight, have some coffee read the paper, whatever you got to do, get on that water by 9 or 10 and you'll find that as the water temperatures increase, your bite is going to get better and better throughout the day. So it's really about just changing your tactics based on your quarry, what you're looking for. And in this case, we're going to talk about redfish. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right, winter fishing for redfish. I just covered this. You just want to get up later. You, do, you don't really have to rush to get out there on the water. Just get up later. Make sure on the water by 9 or 10 or whatever. And then you fish through the hot part of the day. Um, the earlier you get out there, the deeper you got to go. So, you know, you want to find those deep uh, bays and creek mouths and rivers and just cuts, deep cuts. Um, you know, depending on what part of the state you're in, Florida, wherever you are, Texas, wherever you are. Um, you know, you just want to go deep. It might be an inlet, it might be a deep river, deep creek, just deep, deep docks, anything like that. When I say deep, I'm talking 10, 12 feet deep. So you're fishing a little bit deep, deeper than you normally might, or 10, 12 feet or more. You know, you could be fishing bridge pilots, it could be anything like that. Again, depending on where you are, but you want to go deep early. And then as the water heats up because of the sun's energy, you want to go shallow later. So it just depends on how you're doing this. You kind of, it's kind of switched uh, from the summertime. So you're going to go shallow late. Uh, another thing you want to do is you want to slow down your retrieve. You know, these fish are cold blooded. They get, they can't regulate their own body temperature. So they got to use their environment to do it. And they're cold means they move slower. Once they're warmed up, they're going to move faster. So you really want to slow down your retrieve. So however fast you normally fish a jig or whatever you're using, just slow it down a little bit. I think you'll get a lot more bites. And as far as redfish go, in the wintertime, they head right up those creeks and rivers. It took me a while to figure that out. I was always catching most of my reds, you know, at creek mouths and river mouths and, you know, things like that, as long as there's oysters and such around or docks, kind of shallow. And, you know, when it gets real cold out, they would just disappear. So I just experimented and went up some of these creeks and they'll go way up the creek and just find a pothole and they'll hang out in that thing all day for days on end if there's food there and the temperature's right because they go up those creeks are also safe from sharks and dolphins or whatever else might might do it so if you're not catching fit, uh, redfish in your normal spots head up the creek head up the creek in the super skinny water that dark mud uh, heats up real quick uh, you know you, you'll, you'll, you'll find a lot more fish up there just try it. Okay, let's talk about the baits. So since you got to fish deep early, obviously you got to get a bait that goes down deep early too. So let's just cover some of my favorites here. All right, I tie my own jigs. And here's, here's one of the ones that I tie. You know, it looks just like a snook jig because that's what I use it for a lot. But this thing catches trout, this catches redfish, this catches tarpon. This catches just about everything, this red-white combination. It's a one ounce. Um, yeah, try a jig, just to get down there deep. Try a jig, You'll, you might be pleasantly surprised. If you're not getting a lot of hits, put a little piece of shrimp on it, you know, just tip it with a shrimp, and it might increase your, uh, your hit ratio there. Another one, you can't go wrong with a weedless spoon when you're talking about reds. This one's silver, uh, gold works a lot better, but you know, you get a nice weedless spoon, let it sink down there, bounce it around the bottom, uh, in deeper water, you know, 10, 12 feet deep, you know, when it's cold out, you just might get yourself a big old red. Here's another one of my favorites. 
This is uh, DOA. It's their bigger version from the Terrorize. I think it's called Big Eyes. And it's, it's a lot heavier. And this thing really gets down there quick. And that's what I like about this one. So you want to fish down deep. This is a good one. This is Glow. Uh, white works really well. And depending on the water clarity and stuff like that, you, know, you might want to go with a, uh, a root beer type color too. Those are, those are some of the ones I use the most. But this is a great bait. It's called Big Eyes from DOA. And when the water is shallow, well, you go to your old favorites. Here's some gulps. You know, everyone knows what a gulp is by now. I throw a jig head in this. This is a, an excellent bait, but they're kind of expensive. And you, you lose a lot of them. So if you don't want to spend a ton of money on your baits, just switch over to some plastics. You know, this is one I use probably, the color and everything that I use, I don't know, 80-90% of the time. It's just a DOA cow. It's got a little paddle tail. This is the pearl. You throw a jig head on that thing. Um, catches trout, redfish, snook. Catches everything, really. Uh, it's just a great little bait. Great, great little bait. You can rig it weedless. You can do whatever you want with it. Great bait. Another one you might want to use for the, for the shallows are, uh, these are Zoom. They're a real cheap bait. It's a fluke. You rig them, you rig them with a bass hook. You know, here's a, here's a cheap, light bass hook that I use when I want to stay super, super skinny. And when I want to be a little bit deeper, I got this heavy 5 aught mustad that'll sink, uh, you know, a lot better for me. So this one gets down a little bit deeper. And, and these are the ones that you're going to use. You don't really need a huge selection, I guess is my point, you know. So as you're going shallow, you know, later in the day, you know, you fish like you normally would in the summertime. You just get up on there, figure out where the water's warm, and you know, up by mangroves or oyster bars or whatever, these things are great. And if you watch any of my videos, you know I like a dark and I like a light. If the light's not working, I'll switch to dark and vice versa to get on the fish. Another one for redfish is the popping cork. I tell you, this is just such a deadly, deadly thing for these fish. You have your popping cork, it rattles, you got a little bit of uh, of leader here and then you have some sort of you know this is just a fake shrimp but it doesn't matter I mean if you, you could have a, a gulp at the end of that you could have actually any of these at the end of that and they'll do just fine you know it just movement underneath that cork attracts their attention scent works best but again these are pretty expensive but uh, I'm telling you don't not fish in the winter time just change things around a little bit. It's basically the opposite pattern. Go deep early, shallow late, because it's all about water temperature and forage for these fish. They, they need to have a water temperature that's good for them, and they need to have food around, or they're not gonna bother leaving wherever they are. So that's really all you gotta find out to, to find these fish in the winter time for redfish. You can find more of this information right on our website. It's www.fishyourassoff.com. There's a how-to section, a where-to, a what-to. Uh, the whole site is basically fishing tips, simple fishing tips to help fishermen catch more fish. So look through the site. I think you'll find a lot of information there. But until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.